All right, guys, so today we're going to talk about solving quadratic functions. And these are just three steps to solving a quadratic function by factoring. Now, this should be something that you learned in your homework last night. And it should look familiar because we factored quadratic expressions all last week. So now we're going to take that skill of factoring an expression and apply it to solving a quadratic equation. So this video is just going to be for the notes. Then if you need help with the practice problems, there, there will be an additional video at the bottom of the forms assignment for you to access. OK, so step one is going to be to move all terms to one side of the equation so it is equal to zero. OK, so I'm going to in order to do that, if I have a negative four, I have to take this negative four and move it over the equal sign. So to do that, I'm going to do the inverse and add four to both sides. So step one was to move all terms to the left side or the same side of the equal sign. So I'm going to have three X squared plus five X and then minus 2 because negative 6 plus 4 is equal to a negative 2. So now I have my a term, which I can fill in to the area model here, 3x squared. I have my c term, negative 2, which I can fill into my area model here. And then I need to find the factors that will add together to give me this positive 5x, my b term. So that's going to go in the bottom of my X puzzle as a positive 5X. And my A times my C is going to be a negative 6X squared. So negative 6, and I need to find the factors of negative 6 that are going to add together to give me a positive 5X. So I could have negative 1 and a positive 5, not 5, 6, because I'm looking for the factors of 6. Not the factors of 5, the factors of 6. So negative 1 and 6. Or I could have negative 6 and a positive 1. Now because I want them to add together to give me a positive 5, I know that I'm going to use this top one because negative six, 1 plus 6 is equal to a positive 5. So these are the factors. So negative x and a positive 6x, negative x, positive 6x that I'm going to fill in in my area model to factor out. So I have 3x squared minus x. I need to look for the terms that they have in common, and they both have an x in common so I can factor that out. Then I have positive 6x and a negative 2. Because this is positive, I'm going to bring out that positive sign with the term. So I'm going to have a positive number. And the number, what is in, do 6 and 2 have in common? What is a common factor? 2. So my first factor is x plus 2. Now I'm going to look at my columns here and here. I have 3x squared and a positive 6x. Well, both terms have an x in common, but x times x does not give me 3x squared. What about x times 3x? Well, 3x times x gives me 3x squared, and 3x times 2 gives me a positive 6x. So my second factor is going to start with a positive 3x. Now I have negative x and negative 2. Because this is negative, I'm going to pull out a negative sign. And the only thing that negative x and negative 2 have in common is a 1. So my second factor is 3x minus 1. So now my step, that was step 2. Okay. So that was step 2. was all of that factoring. All of this work right here was step two. Now we're going to work on step three, 
we're going to set each factor equal to zero. So we have x plus 2, and we're going to set that equal to 0 and solve for x. So subtract 2 and subtract 2. x is equal to a negative 2. Then I'm going to take my 3x minus 1 and set that equal to 0 and solve for x. So I'm going to add 1 and add 1. So 3x is equal to 1. Then I need to divide by 3 and divide by 3. And x is equal to 1 third. So those are the two solutions to my problem to my quadratic equation, and that was step three. Okay, so we're gonna follow those three steps down below when we are doing our practice problems. Remember what we learned last week with factoring quadratic expressions, and let me know if you need any help.